Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how I make this stylized grassland. We will use Blender to make grass model, make it straighter in URP10 as well as paint grassland by using Unity built-in terrain tools. Go to Blender, let's open a new scene. Tap A to select all objects, tap X to delete them all. Press Shift A, select the mesh plane to create a new plane. Tap number part 7 to switch view. Then tap N to show the properties panel. Select the item here. In dimensions, change X to 0.2 meter, Y to 1.2 meter. Press tap to enter edit mode. Then press Ctrl R, move the mouse to center of the plane. You will see the horizontal cut line. Close the mouse wheel to split the plane to six parts. Click mouse left button, then press enter to confirm. Press Ctrl R again, move mouse to center of the plane. When you see the vertical cut line, click mouse left button, then press enter to cut. We need to adjust the plane's shape to a grass. Here we need to merge the top three points to one, then do the same action to the bottom three points. Choose the left up point, then press shift to select the middle point and the right up point. Then tap M, choose merge at center. Do the same things to the bottom three points. Next, let's enable mirror operation for X and Y axis. Choose this point, tap G, then tap X along X axis to change its position. We can see the mirror changes. Then do the same actions to the below point as well as the middle point. It's a little bit wide. Tap S and tap X to reduce its size along X axis. Rotate it 90 degree around X axis. Tap R and tap X to input 90. Tap number pad 1 to switch wheel. Then we paint vertex color for it. Use R channel to control the swing amplitude of the grass and the wind or interacting with character. The grass should have maximum swing amplitude at top and a minimum swing amplitude at the bottom. Choose vertex paint here, then choose vertex selection. Now all the points on the plane are selected. Tap A twice to cancel selections. Choose RGB, change values of the three channels to zero. Then tap B to select the bottom point. After that, choose paint. Set vertex colors, we can press Shift key to do this. Now the bottom of the plane is black. Tap A twice to cancel selection, then tap B to select above three points. Change R channel value to 0.15. Press Shift key to draw vertex color. Same actions to select you above points again. Increase R value by 0.15 every time. Use Shift key to draw. Now we can see the red color become darker from top to bottom. Back to object mode, we need to fold the plane. Press tab to edit mode. Enable mirror on X and Y axis. Press shift to select the three points. Tap number pad 7 to switch wheel. Tap G and Y to move them along Y axis.
Then tap G and X to move them along X axis. Select this point, tap G and Y to change its position a little bit. Do the same action to it on X axis. Check the result. Tap G and Z input 0 0.6. Move the plane upward. Make sure the 3D cursor is at word arranging. Then choose object set arranging origin to 3D cursor. The grass looks a little bit wide. Tap S then X to reduce its size again. Then we bend the grass, press tap to edit mode, choose center point of the plane. Change pivot point to active element, which is the point we just select. Tap O to proportional editing mode, then choose its fall off to sphere. Tap number pad 3 to switch view. Tap G, we can see a white circle which is the impact area of our current action. We can roll the mouse wheel to change the circle size. Before doing this, we'd better duplicate the current plane first. Press Shift D to duplicate it. Then tap G and X to move them. You can also move them by tap X after press Shift D without enter. Okay, now we can back to edit mode to bend the grass. Don't forget to change the pivot point to 3D cursor again, because we need to rotate the grass along x-axis. Tap R and X to rotate it. Do the same action to next the grass. First, we need to move the 3D cursor to next the grass. Press Shift S, choose cursor to select it. At edit mode. Bend the grass, the degree of bending lower than last grass. Don't forget to change pivot point back to active element. Do the same actions to other grass.
Make sure the cursor is at word origin, press Shift S, choose cursor to word origin. Press Shift A, choose mesh circle to create a circle. Change the radius of the circle to 3 meter. We will put grass into the circle. Use Shift D to duplicate the grass. Tap G, then press Shift Z to move grass in XY plane, then rotate them. Here I put them manually, put the most curved one around the border of the circle. We'd better avoid to make the grass on level. Let them have different heat here. Here I will lower the grass on the border. Try to avoid light them towards the same direction.
After put them together in the circle, let's merge them back to J. Rename the mesh to grass. Choose object, set arranging, arranging to 3D cursor. Set the grass arranging to word arranging. When we paint grass on terrain in Unity, we want their bottom inside the ground. So here I will move them down by G and Z. After that, set the mesh arranging to 3D cursor. Okay, now let's change the grass normal. Same with the tree leaves we made in previous video. We want the shadow look smooth. Usually we need to modify the grass normal afterwards. Of course, we don't need to change its normal here. We can use an up vector as the normal direction to calculate its shading during right shader. Before change normals, press Ctrl A. Choose all transforms. We can't change the normals right if we don't do this action. Press tab to enter edit mode. Select all, then choose mesh, normals, point to target. Now the mouse become a cross. Click it at any position. Enable display split normals and increase the size here. We can see the normals are all point to a target. Open left down window then give a very large Z value. Let the normals towards a very high point. Ok, now we finish the grass model in Blender. Next, we will export it into Unity. Go to Unity, let's create a new scene. In Project window, right-click Create Folder, rename it to Models. Back to Blender, let's export the grass model to the model folder we just created. Choose Mesh, Selected Objects, FBX Unit Scale, Check Apply Transform. Name the file as grass.fbx, click Export FBX. Back to Unity, we can see the grass model here. First, let's create a terrain. In Hierarchy Reno, right-click, choose 3D Object, Terrain. Then click Terrain Settings in its Inspector window. Change Terrain Width Length to 64, and our Mesh Resolution. We will use a small terrain in this video. Drag the grass model to the scene to check the result. Then let's create a prefabs folder. Drag down the grass object from hierarchy window to create a prefab. Choose original prefab. Change prefab position to zero. Here I will let the grass only receive shadow, but not cast a shadow. Mesh renderer lighting cast shadows turn off. Then install Universal Render Pipeline. Click Window Package Manager. Select Unity Registry here. Input Universal in Search field. Choose Universal RP to install. After installation, upgrade the project materials to support URP. Choose Edit. Render Pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, Upgrade Project Materials to Universal RP Materials. Now the terrain become bug red. Next, create URP assets. Right click, choose Create, Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, Pipeline Asset.
choose Edit, Project Settings, Graphics, set the scriptable render pipeline settings to the URP asset we just created. Then choose Player, set color space to linear. Here we will borrow a custom shader graph known in an Unity open source project. I will attach the link in video description. After download this project, let's open shaders custom HLSL. There has a custom lighting file. And the subgraphs has a main light file. Back to our project, here I already created shaders folder. There has a lighting folder and a stylized tree folder inside. I put the tree shaders into stylized tree folder we made in previous video. In lighting folder, copy the custom lighting and main light files from the open source project. Now let's open main light subgraph. There is an exclamation mark show error on right up corner of the custom node. The main light function is implemented in custom lighting. Click main light node, drag custom lighting to source. OK, now the custom function node can work. The main light subgraph is used to acquire the main light informations, such as light direction, color and shadow info, sampled on shadow map. It uses lambda light model by light direction dot product normal direction, which is a self shadow of the object. The shadow attenuation represents shadows on this object casted by other objects. Here I will change lambda light model to half lambda. Let normal direction dot light direction multiply 0.5 then add This way, we decrease the dark part of the object. Click Save Asset. Go to Shaders folder, create a stylized grass folder. Let's review the tree shader we made in previous video. Due to I upgrade the shader to URP10, there has some differences for the shader. The vertex shader and fragment shader are separately displayed here, but the outputs and the connections are not changed. Have a look at the vertex animation here. We use XZ components of the vertex word position as UV. Add an offset vary with time. Then give the result to a noise nose input. Here I made a small change. Subtract the vertex offset with a wiggle offset. Because the noise output are non-negative, which means the leaves can only swing in one side but not side to side symmetrically. So I subtract an offset here to change the noise output from negative to positive. I'm gonna reuse the vertex animation to implement the grass swing. Select the leaf shader, Ctrl D to duplicate it, rename it to grass, drag the grass shader to stylize the grass folder. Open grass shader, change material option to unlit and graph settings. Then uncheck alpha clip. 
remove no use UV animation and color. Remove main text, color, and off cutoff properties. Next, let's make grass color. The grass in Genshin Impact are green with some yellow at top and green at the bottom. Here we will use two colors and rub them to get the grass color. Add two color properties named top color and bottom color. Create a vertex color node, get its R channel connect to a LERP node's T input. The R channel value increase from bottom to top, so connect the top color to LERP node's B input and connect the bottom color to LERP node's A input. Then create a main light node. Multiply shadow attenuation and self shadowing. The shadows on grass include its self shadow and the shadows casted by other objects. Connect the shadow to a sample gradient node. Change the gradient color to half green and half black. The dark green is a grass shadow color, the black part is zero. We will add this part with grass color. Give the top color and bottom color default values. Duplicate the sample noise node, change its gradient color to half black, half white. Multiply the white part with grass color, add the black part with shadow color. Multiply the lerp result with the sample gradient result. Add the result with shadow color below, get the final color of the grass. Connect the final color to base color output. Save asset. Go to materials folder, here I already import the stylized tree material. Create a new material named the grass. Choose a shader to shader graphs, grass. Back to the scene, drag the grass material to grass model. Now we can see the bottom of the grass is swing. This is not what we want. We need to control the swing amplitude by using vertex color in shader. Back to grass shader, go to vertex animation. Let the R channel of the vertex color multiply with vertex offside, because R channel value decreases from top to bottom of the grass.
see if the changes check the result again. Now the grass swing looks right. Increase the wiggle stress. Then let's have a look at the wiggle offset. When I decrease it to zero, the grass swing to the right side. When I increase it, the grass swing to the left side. We need to choose a balance value. Next, we will create ROD for the grass. I will not make different meshes for grass. Here, we're gonna make different shaders and materials for different ROD. Create an empty parent for the grass object, name it to grass. Rename its child object to grass LD0. Duplicate its name as grass LD1. Add LD group component for parent object. Only make three levels. Remove level two. Modify ranges of the three levels. Drag grass LOD0 object to level 0. Drag grass LOD1 to level 1. The grass will be called in level 3. Then let's make shaders and materials for level 1 and level 0. Go to Materials folder, rename Grass to Grass LD0, duplicate it and rename to Grass LD1. Go to Shaders folder, rename Grass to Grass LD0, duplicate and rename it to Grass LD1. Open LOD0 shader, let's group color and shadow parts. Then open LD1 shader, remove vertex animation and shadows. Only keep the color part, which means the distant grass will not have animation and shadow. Go to Materials, change Grass LOD Materials Shader. Drag the LOD materials to relative objects. Check the result, disable gizmos.
When the camera is close, we can see the grass swing. When the camera far away, the grass becomes static. Then we replace the grass prefab. Back to LED white shader, remove all the no use properties. Okay, looks right. Inside grass prefab, change all objects position to zero. Now we can remove the objects in hierarchy window. Click the rain in its inspector window, click paint trace, edit trace, add tree. Drag the grass prefab here. Click add button. We can paint grass now. You can change grass size and uh, tree density. Change tree height wise to modify the grass size. The bar represents the size random range. Currently, we only have one color grass. Let's add more colors to reach the grass line. Before do that, let's clean the folder structure. Use Ctrl D to duplicate. We need three grass. Each of them has two LOD materials, six materials in total. Set their colors. Duplicate grass prefabs give them different materials. Here I make three colors from light green to dark green.
Okay, back to terrain. Let's add the three grass prefabs to tree prefab. Then paint the grassland. For layering the grassland, I brush the three grass at intervals, let the grass higher in middle and lower in border. Then we add post processing effect for it. Right click here, select volume, global volume, click new button to create a profile, add some effects. Click Window, Rendering, Lighting Environment, choose Gradient for Environment Lighting and change its color. Add the trees we made in previous video to tree prefab, paint them on ground. Rotate main light direction. Looks like our grass doesn't receive the tree shadows.
go back to the grass shader, we need to add three keywords here. They are main light shadows, main light shadows cascade, and soft shadows. Save assets, now the grass can receive trace shadow, but the LED zero range should be enlarged to display more shadows on grass. Here I will try to let LED one grass receive shadows to have a look. Open grass LED one shader, copy the three shadow keywords and shadow nodes from LED zero shader. Check the result. Modify the game camera's position. In camera component, check post processing and choose SMA as anti-aliasing mode. Play the demo scene. Back to grass shader, let's add a boolean property, name it to single color. Here I want to show you another effect which is displayed in my last video. Add a branch node here, use single color to decide the base color, use verb result or just the top color. Do the same actions for the LD1 shader. Back to the scene, check the single color for all the grass materials.
You can switch between the two color results. Choose one of them which you can accept. Let me change the color to the version I displayed in previous video. Let's print more grass on the ring. Now I will give the terrain my prepared textures. Select the paint texture, edit terrain layers, create layer, choose the terrain texture. Click the layer, name it to ground. Choose a color for the ground. Add a grass layer, I will still use the same texture with ground. Then give grass layer a color. Now we can paint the grassland color. 
use opacity to control the color blend. Usually it will look better if the grass bottom color is close to the ground color. Currently our grass looks at nature. And check the single color option in all grass materials to check the result. I think it looks better now. You can change the color patiently to make the grassland look good. At last, I will add a skybox for the demo scene. Choose Window, Rendering, Lighting, Environment. Replace the skybox material to the one I prepared. Thanks for watching, hope this video could help you make a pretty stylized environment.